Thank you for joining me today. Today I will show you how to create this shield with a checkmark icon, often used to represent safety or security in Adobe Illustrator. Let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is create a square. Let's go over to the rectangle tool and then click and drag while holding shift key. Great. You need to switch the fill and the stroke. Currently it has no stroke, but a black fill. You want to swap it by clicking this arrow. Oops, you need to click the rectangle first and then actually swap the colors. And also increase the thickness of the lines. So let's say 15. Now what we need to do is increase the number of anchor points. So again, we will select the, uh, the square Go to Object, Path, Add Anchor Points. And then delete this corner and join, um, basically join the centers of those two sides of the square. So I'm going to go to the Direct Selection tool or press the button A on my keyboard. Then I'm going to click and drag over this bottom right corner and press Backspace. So now we need to join these two. So again, I'm going to click and drag with the same tool so that it covers these two ends. And then we can either go to object, a path, join, or we can press command or control J. I'm going to do that, command J. Good. And we need to do the same on the other side. So again, direct selection tool, select the corner, delete, select these two again, and command J. You can actually, you can actually see the shield taking shape. And uh, we are going to now round these two corners. So I'm going to select our new shape with my selection tool and then press A to switch to the direct selection tool. We need to, we need to select only these two corners so I'm going to press down my shift key and then click on this circle and on this circle as well. You can see that these are now selected and the rest are not. That's, that's okay, that's what we want. And we're going to click and drag to make only these corners rounded until we see a red color pop up, like so. Great, now we can release. And we have our, sh our shield now. Good. So now we need to create a check mark and we are going to do that by going over to the pen tool. I'm going to click and while holding down my shift key, uh, holding down your shift key locks the angles to increments of 45 degrees, I think. Yes, 45 degrees. So now I'm, I'm going to click. And you can see that we can now create a continuation of this line, of this, of this uh, path. So again, I'm going to hold down shift and click somewhere around here. Now, now that it's done, we can click either click escape or go to the selection tool. Good. So we have our shield, we have our check mark. Now let's align it perfectly. So I'm going to move it over here and then select this one and this one, click it again and use the align tools to align it. Perfect, now you can see that if we actually center it vertically, it doesn't look right. We need to rely on our eyes here and just move it to a place where it, where it looks good. So to me, this looks, this looks okay, uh, maybe a little bit upwards. Now I'm going to round these corners by selecting these two shapes and going over to stroke and selecting a round join and also perhaps a round cap. Now let's just increase the thickness of, of these lines. So this one, I feel like this one needs to be a little bit thicker. So I'm going to go to stroke and let's let's say set it to 25 and this one set to 20. Maybe a little bit less, the difference is too strong now. 
Okay, so I think this looks this looks all right. Uh, looks like it should be the check mark. You can use this one um, in your projects to symbolize security, safety. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and I will see you in the next one.